Hello! Cutting a full-size sheet of three-quarter plywood can be pretty challenging in a small shop, especially when you're working by yourself. I have a table saw, but it's really not too good for me to try to use that when I'm working out here alone, because this is a pretty cumbersome piece of wood to be trying to manipulate. So, it's okay if I gotta do some long cuts. I can set my tables up for support and it goes pretty good. But anytime I have to do cross cuts, it's a lot easier for me to use this clamp-on guide and my circular saw. Now, of course, when I use this saw, I need to know the distance between the edge of this plate and the blade. Now, you can measure that, of course, but I find it's kind of an awkward thing to measure. So I got a little better way of doing it. I'm going to use my circular saw to cut some spacer blocks from this half-inch MDF. You note that I got a piece that's about four inches wide here. I've got two of them. And it's fairly long, and I'll tell you why in a minute. First thing I want to do though is take these pieces over to my miter saw and make some nice clean cuts across the end. Now to make sure I keep things oriented all the same way, I'm going to make a little mark on this edge, and I'll know that that was the side that was up against the fence. <laughs> got a nice straight piece of 2 by 3 that I'm going to clamp down good and tight to the table. Next I'm going to take my two boards that I squared the end on. I'm going to make sure I got these reference lines in the same place. And they're going to get clamped to the table nice and tight against this board. Now the reason these needed to be fairly long is they have to be long enough that I can put these clamps where they're not going to interfere with the saw. Because once I have it all clamped down, I'm going to make a cut straight across like this. I've set the blade to a height of about 5 eighths of an inch. So that way it's going to cut right through this top piece and it's going to make a score line in the bottom piece. So first I've got to make sure I get this all nice and tight and as perfect as I can get it. So now it's all lined up and everything's good and tight, so I'm going to make the cut. So the top board was cut right through and it gave me this little strip. So now I'm going to take and I'm just going to cut that in half and I'll have two blocks. This bottom board wasn't cut all the way through, it's just got this line cut into it. So now I'm going to take this over to the miter saw and I'm going to make a cut that lines up exactly here on this outside edge of the cut. Now it's very important that I make this cut accurately and it's also important again that I put this reference line up against the fence of the miter saw. That keeps everything square the same way. So I'll try to line this up as best I can but of course if I, if I screw this part up it's going to be no big deal just to clamp this down over there again and cut another line. But we'll see if I can do it right on the first try. So that looked like that went pretty good. So now I've got this piece that's got this little notch cut in it. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half. Now the difference is these two blocks are wider than these two blocks by the width of the blade of my circular saw. I'm going to mark an end on these ones for narrow and a W for wide. So what's the point of these little blocks? Well let's pretend that this is my sheet of plywood and here's where I've got a line marked. Now if I've measured from this end, and let's say that was two feet and that's the piece I need, then what I'm going to do is use the wide blocks and I'll line them up on my line and then pretending that this is the fence I'll clamp it on like so. That way when I make the cut the blade is going to go on this side of my line leaving me my two feet. Now let's supposing I had measured it the other way let's say this was had to be 60 inches or something. So I'll measure it out 
Again, I'm going to clamp down my fence, but this time I'm going to use the narrow block. Clamp it and line it up like so. That way, when I make the cut, the blade will be on this side of the line, leaving me my 60 inches here. So let's go do a cut on the big sheet. So I'll make a mark here, and I'll make the same measurement over here on the other side. I'm going to use my long ruler to draw a line across, just to see how well this cut turns out. But really all I need is a mark here and a mark there that I can line those blocks up on. So I have my line marked, and since this is the piece I want to keep here, I want the cut to be on this side, so I'm going to use the wide blocks. So I'll take and I'll line up a block on my line. And I find it helpful to throw a little clamp on there just to hold it in place for a moment. Then I'll go and I'll put the other block down at the other end. There, everything's lined up. Lock down the fence. So once that's all in place and I've made sure that nothing's moved on me, let's remove these blocks. I've got the plywood clamped to the end of the table down here. I've also got it clamped to this other table. And I've got a space between my two tables so that when I make the cut, I'm not going to cut into anything. So it's very important to double check and make sure that you're not going to hit anything when you make the cut. And I guess I should have mentioned this before, but with, with the circular saw, the way the blade spins, you want the good side of your board down. Another thing to keep in mind, whether you're using one of these clamp-on fences or the trident tour method of clamping down a nice straight board, you have to be careful that you don't push with the saw too hard this way because it will bow out in the middle. Now it's important that you keep the saw up against the fence, but just watch that you're not really pushing hard that way. I've set the blade to the right height and I've got the cord figured out so it shouldn't get hung up on anything. So I'm going to make the cut. Oh yeah, it looks real good. Yep, spot on. So now anytime I need to make a cut with my circular saw, I'll have these two sets of spacer blocks to make the job easier. Wide blocks for when I want to keep the piece that's on the other side from where the fence is, and the narrow ones for when the fence is on the piece that I'm keeping. Thanks for watching.